What is up, y'all? I'm Jordy. Today I'm finally playing Maridon, one of the box arts of this game. Uh, this team was made by Anxiety. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate this team because I don't have a Maridon yet. I'm just playing Scarlet. So being able to play it just to see how it is when it's going to be one of the strongest mons in the game, so great. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a team breakdown. Feel free to skip ahead to the battles if that's all you want to do. But let's get on with it. Maridon is insanely powerful. Uh, when it comes into the field, it sets electric terrain. And when it's on electric terrain, it gets a 33.33% special attack boost. It's always special attack. It's not like the uh, other iron Pokemon. And so you slap a choice specs on it, and you electro drift on electric terrain, getting the electric boost, getting the hadron engine boost. It just does insane damage. Uh, this set also has Draco Meteor, its strongest dragon move. Snarl, a really cool tech move because your choice specs, you might as well have another move there. And Dazzling Gleam with Terra Fairy. Terra Fairy is a great defensive typing for Maridon. Uh, you, you've, you haven't got very many weaknesses, but one of the big ones is Dragon. You can completely nullify, and the rest become neutral, so it's great. This Maridon is super bulky, too. Max HP, a little bit of special attack. You don't really need much with this Choice Specs and the Hadron boost. Uh, and then just enough speed. It looks like it's enough speed to catch 111s, uh, so you'll be faster than every Tornadus. You'll be faster than every Ogre Pond. Uh, which I think is a really good speed tier for this if you're not going max, because there's not really much in between those. So I think this is a great Maridon set. Definitely consider trying it out yourself, even on another team, with this spread. Next to it, we've got Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle with max speed gets the Quark Drive boost next to Maridon without even needing booster energy. That's right, Iron Bundle is back. Uh, it's got a Focus Sash now, so it can actually stick around long enough to do something. Whether that something is icy winding, because you aren't the fastest Maridon in the world, so you can catch up to even Calyrex with that. Or freeze drying, because freeze dry is just a busted move. Such good type coverage on this thing. Uh, and also Hydro Pump, if you just feel like missing. We've also got a couple cool things. We've got Ogre Pond and Incineroar. I told you once, I'll tell you a hundred times. Just bring these two Pokemon. They're your Firewater Grass Core. They're great support in this meta. The Ogre Pond is super standard. The Incineroar is a little different. It's an Assault Vest with U-Turn, but I think that's a great set. Since the, it's supposed to be that Incineroar is good against Calyrex, but Calyrex makes it so you can't eat your berry. So an Incineroar with a Citrus Berry is kinda not the best against Calyrex, though it is great against everything else. So an Assault Vest makes a lot of sense on it in this meta. Over here we've got Golden Go. It's a pretty normal Golden Go set, except it's a little more offensive. It's got Iron Plate as its item, and it's just Terra Fairy. I like Terra Fairy on Golden Go a lot, especially with stuff like Wicked Blow running around. I just think it's a neat Terra on it. And finally, Iron Leaves. I am really hoping that Iron Leaves takes off in this meta, because when you get the Quark Drive boost, this is an attack boosting one, plus the Life Orb boost, Plus, Psyblade becomes a 120 power move on electric terrain. Yeah, it's a psychic move boosted by electric terrain, and it's boosted even more than an electric move would be. So strong. I I'm hoping or Iron Leaves can do some stuff. Its typing holds it back significantly with the Grass Psychic, but I'm hoping it can do something at least. I'm, I'm gonna try to force it to do something this game. Alright, let's get on to these matches and play with Maridon. Okay, Tom, you've got an Ice Rider team. Let's see what Maridon can do into that. Uh, it's not exactly the best matchup, but we have Terra Fairy to get around it. I think you're going to go with one of your redirectors and one of your Trick Room setters. Wow, you've got a lot. This is the hardest Trick Room that ever Trick Room. Okay, probably an Indeedee lead, so I could bring in Maridon to shut that down. If I lead Incineroar, I should be able to get off a Fake Out when I swap the other Pokemon into Maridon. Now, in case they don't lead Indeedee, it would be probably Ogre Pond plus Oranguru, or Ogre Pond plus Armor Rouge. In that case, <sighs> Ogre Pond and Oranguru, I would want the Subway Surfer.
Yeah, then I think I want Maridon, and I think I want Santa Claus, actually. Oh, it has a Focus Sash. It can actually take a hit from Ice Rider. So well, maybe Ogre Pond would be better here. I don't know. I could tear the Ogre Pond to take Torkoal moves and Glacial Lance. Yeah, that might be the way. That might be the way. I don't know who I'm going to be able to commit the Terra to. But, uh, <laughs> this is going to be a rough one. Hard Trick Room is really rough. Ice Rider is one of the best Pokemon in the game, but so is Maridon. So don't sleep on Maridon. And they have a trainer card with some little thing. I couldn't even tell what it was. Okay. It's just indeed Calyrex. How do I want to handle Indeedy Calyrex? Clear Amulet Calyrex, of course. Um, what are my options here? They could follow me, Trick Room. Make It Rain would blow them up if they did that. They could Terra follow me, Trick Room. They have Psychic Seeds, so like, Knock Off doesn't do a lot. I'm just thinking bringing in Maridon doesn't actually help me that much. I've got my two Ice Resists in. So maybe I just want to do something about it. I could also U-turn next turn after I'm the slowest on the field, and then bring in Maridon. For now, I think I will throw a knockoff at Calyrex and set up a nasty plot. Ah, it's just a protect trick room. Okay, that's fine. I guess I could have faked out Indeedee and swapped in Maridon, but that doesn't get me too far. Now I will at least get to see what they're going to try to pull with their Calyrex. They probably have a Terra here, I would imagine, and Subway Surfer is probably the threat. I could U-turn into Ogre Pond. U-turn would go last. I bring in Ogre Pond, then I can follow me, make it rain. And if they have a Terra that resists Steel, well, we'll reconsider at that point. <laughs> Yeah, they are burning Terra. Uh, Terra Water would make sense, but any Terra you have other than Ice is probably thrown right here. It is just water. Okay. Um, what do I want to do in that case? Well, let's see what move they throw to. If it's like Terra Blast into Incineroar and I don't have an Incineroar anymore. Okay, I kind of like the, the Follow Me, because I get the good damage from U-Turn on Indeedee. And it is just high horsepower. It doesn't actually do that much damage to Indeedee, though. <laughs> okay. That's fine. It'll be hard for them to throw a high horsepower with Ogre Pun on the field. But it'll be easy for them to throw a Follow Me with Indeedee. This could just be a Glacial Lance. I would imagine that Subway Surfer can take... Oh, that is bulky. I think we can take a high horsepower anyway. Who goes first? I assume it's Subway Surfer. Yeah, cool. So I want to Terra, Horn Leech, make it rain. Let's see if I can do it. Make it rain hopefully knocks out Indeedee. I hope they go for Glacial Lance this turn, trying to hit Ogre Pond harder. That's the reason I'm tearing. I want to take the ice move better. And if make it rain can knock out Indeedee, which I don't know, I'm plus two Metal Coat. So, so they're plus one. I, I don't, I think they can they will go down, is my guess. Helping hand high horsepower would be rough, but like... Oh, it's Lance! Yes! Thank you. Thank you for that. 
Oh, Ogre Pond would have lived anyway. Cool. And I like that your Ndidi lived, because it didn't follow me, so I do get to hit Calyrex here. Now Calyrex doesn't go down, because it's just a beast! Oh my goodness. What? Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh... I could double protect here, but I'm actually really scared that they go for Trick Room, Trick Room. If both of them click Trick Room now on my double protect, I'm in big trouble because they'll reverse Trick Room and then put Trick Room up for four whole more turns. So I w in, under normal circumstances, if Calyrex didn't learn Trick Room, I would double protect this turn 100%. But I don't think I can afford to do that. I will Horn Leech Calyrex. <laughs> and I will just protect the server. Okay, they just protect there. Okay, they're not double trick rooming at least. Um, next turn the high horsepower is pretty free, but I could follow me it. I like that. Yeah, I can follow me a high horsepower. That shouldn't knock out Ogre Pond. And then I can make it rain. Knock you both out on the last turn of trick room would be amazing if Make It Rain can finish Calyrex from there. Oh, this thing's been taking hits way too well. Uh, I am at plus, it should, it should be enough. So I'll follow me, because like Helping Hand High Horsepower, actually even just regular High Horsepower probably takes the Subway Surfer. And then click Make It Rain. A double protect? Interesting. I don't really get it. Like, you had a chance to at least do some damage. Um, do you have, like... What do you have in the back that makes you want to do that? I'm curious. Because now without your redirection, I can Shadow Ball Calyrex. And not have to worry about Make It Rain not being enough. I'm also faster, I can just Horn Leech if you don't have redirection. Um, if it's like... Okay, it is Ogre Pond. But that makes me feel like... Follow Me, Make It Rain is pretty free. Uh, maybe they want to knock out my Ogre Pond? I think Horn Leech into Calyrex. And clicking Make It Rain is probably fine. Calyrex goes for a triple protect. Okay, they knock out Ogre Pond, but at the cost of their sturdy, both of these should go down. Or, I guess Calyrex can live. I'm at neutral now. That thing has way too many stats. It can probably live this. So thank you for knocking out your own sturdy there. And they both go down. All that's left is for Maridon to clean up whoever the last is. It could be Torkoal, it could be Oranguru, and it could be... All right, stop. I don't know who else it could be. I'm not really scared of anything, though. I have a Maridon left. We survived the Calyrex. And it is Maridon's time. Breadman. <laughs> Just Torkoal. Alright, I'm gonna delete this Torkoal in an instant. Let's go, Maridon. Show this Torkoal who's boss. Uh-huh, you go ahead and set up Sun, whatever. Electro Drift, and I guess the play is going into Incineroar. Please don't forfeit, I want to see the move. I want Maridon to, to click the button. Oh yes, they're going to let Maridon click a button. Alright. <clears throat> Future Motorcycle, let's go. Jack the Driven. That's a good one. Okay. And Electro Drift should delete this Torkoal's entire life. Choice Specs on terrain. Goodbye. Bye-bye. And that was a good game. Calyrex Ice and we survived. Good game, Tom. And I still don't know what that little thing is. Okay, now we've got Tim with a Kyurem. 
Kiram, Ninetales, of course. Sableye, I don't quite get. But Glamora, King Gambit, and Ogre Pond. Uh, maybe the Sableye just wants to throw Will-O-Wisps around to make everything bulkier, but that wouldn't work make sense with Glamora. The King Gambit makes a lot of sense. King Gambit setting up behind screens is really scary. Uh, so, as good as Golden Go is, King Gambit scares it out. Okay. Maridon is faster. Yes, is faster than Ninetales. That's good. They don't have any terrain control. I could go Maridon turn one and delete something. My fear would be a fake out Sableye lead, in which case I would have to get out of there. Ooh, that could be a problem. Sableye plus, like, Kirim? Uh, Golden Go does seem good. I, I need to be careful about King Gambit. I need to be really careful about King Gambit. I think Maridon and Santa Claus is good. I need... I need Golden Go. And then against King Gambit, I guess I want Ogre Pond. At the least, it can redirect. And redirecting Sucker Punches away while I hit King Gambit could be good. Ooh, Weavile. Scary. I think the main way I'm going to be able to stop the Veil is just by KOing. Ah, oh, it is Fake Out plus... Ah. Uh, hmm. Okay. So they could have Fake Out or Quash plus Kyurem. So I need to get into Golden Go. I could tear a Ghost, that would protect a little bit, but it doesn't really do much. Terra Fairy ain't bad, honestly. Even Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam isn't that bad, actually. I don't hate that. Get in Golden Go on this slot to threaten next turn with something that can't be quashed. Yeah, that's not bad. Though I guess I don't know what moves there are. They could have like Terra Fire Fusion Flare. All right, here's our Terra. Sort of a mid-ground play. Hoping it works out. This Maridon is bulky and is faster than them. So I hope things work out. It's a very bulky Maridon. Okay, they do just do the quash strat. That's cool. Go for like dragon move. Uh, it's just freeze dry. That's okay. You didn't Terra. Well, that did a lot. Yeah, your life orb. Okay. Choice specs. Terrain boosted because of the ability. Dazzlingly. Double delete. Maridon, let's go! Yes! Yes! Oh, that felt good. A double knockout? Woo! Okay. Alright, we're in a great position now. Do whatever you want. Glad Imperio. That makes sense. Lumiflora? Oh, that's a... Uh, that thing, yeah. Okay. Gotta get my ride on out of here. I'll go into Santa Claus. Do I double swap? I want to switch over to Electro Drift. I'm not weak to... Okay. So it would be... A Steel move, maybe, coming in this slot. So that slot should go to Ogre Pond. I think I just want to click Make It Rain. I want to just hit Glamora. Because... Golden Go is going to be useless against King Gambit. So if I can just use it to hit Glamora as much as I can, that's all it can really do for the rest of this match. It's a Meteor Beam. Uh, I think Ogre Pine can take that. That's... <laughs> that's a crazy play, though. But yeah, that would probably have picked up Maridon from there. It makes sense. Ogre Pine uh, takes it for some degree of taking it. Is that a KO? It is. Thank goodness. Yeah, because you got Power Herb, you can't be Sash, you can't be Assault Vest. 
Okay, uh, knock out my King Gambit, not my King Gambit, knock out Golden Go, please. Thank you. That is perfect. Follow me, Electro Drift should clean this up. Unless you have a Terra that resists Electric. I don't think that's very common. Uh, what, what, what resists Electric? Terra Ground? I've never seen Terra Ground. Uh, ter uh, Terra Dragon is a thing. Terra Dragon might be what you go for here if you have it. I think that'd be a good play. But Iron Bundle in the back will freeze dry you then, so... You're kind of screwed one way or another. Yep, you go for the Sucker Punch. It fails. And Maridon's gonna get another deletion. Three KOs for Maridon. Goodbye. Maridon is pretty good, guys. Oh my goodness. It just does so much damage that, like, whatever I click, I'm just confident it'll KO. It just has that attack stat. Good game, Tim. Okay, a Groudon team. Groudon, Fluttermane. Obviously a scary combo. Uh, they have Rillaboom to reset the terrain. Uh, they also have the Water Dragon, and then Incineroar, and another King Gambit. Is this a game for Gilgamesh? Or Terra Fire? I don't know. It's it's like good in some cases, but not others. I don't think Incineroar is that good. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, they have a Defiant Mon. Most Groudons are gonna be Clear Amulet. I don't think it's an Incineroar game. It might be a Gilgamesh game. I don't see any use for Subway Surfer. I don't want Incineroar. So it's gonna be... We're gonna be bringing Gilgamesh, which is awesome. Super excited for that. I think Maridon and Bundle is good. Bundle should outspeed everything they have. No, I don't want to lead. Hmm. I could lead with... Things that have Protect. Maridon in the back? No, I'm gonna trust that Maridon is strong enough even when they change terrain. And just bring something that will punish the swap in from Rillaboom. Yeah, that'll work. Like, yeah, go ahead, swap your Rillaboom. I'm gonna read that and freeze dry it. And Specs Draco Meteor is still gonna hurt stuff, you know? Hunchcrow. I prefer Murkrow. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a Gen 4 boy. Okay, they've got the great friends out. And I'm terrified of them. We've got our speed up. They've got their drought cooking. I'm dropping a Draco Meteor on that thing. Because I... Hunter Fairy... I was thinking I was Terra Electric. No, if I'm Terra Fairy, I guess I can get around. No, I just want to drop a Draco Meteor. And a Freeze Dry into Groudon. Groudon swapping Rillaboom? Did I catch him? Is that Rillaboom? Ah, I caught him. Alright, as long as Maridon lives this turn, we get Terrain Control. That's excellent. Oh no, my quirk drive. I was faster than your whole team anyway. Not quite enough. Draco Meteor will be enough, though. Probably a little overkill there. Uh, but what can you do? And then a Kowtow Cleave into Bundle? Fine. Okay. I guess I'm in Sucker Punch range now. I guess that's annoying. Uh, who are you gonna bring in now? X9? Is that your Groudon? Yeah. Cool. Um, either one of these is okay. A cleave could be going into that slot. I feel like it's Sucker Punch into Bundle all day. But I don't want to bring in... this. I guess not until King Gambit's gone. But yeah, just protects. Swap, be defensive, 
take a turn of sun away. So they swapped out and then back in, so it's going to be hard for them to reset the sun again. It is Sucker Punch. Okay. That's cool. And then what, Blades? Yeah. That's fine. Does it even connect? It does. That's a decent animation, I guess. Too bad the camera goes behind Groudon. Okay. I kind of want to follow me freeze dry, but also... Horn Leech and Swap is interesting. Would they go for a Kowtow Cleave? Or would they just go for a Sucker Punch again? They wouldn't sucker punch. No, I can't. I can't bring it in. I'll just follow me freeze dry. They swapped. They're not willing to defensive Terra or protect even. Okay. Uh, and their last is Incineroar. That's good to know. Now it's a Terra from King Gambit. Okay. I'm interested in what this is. Oh, uh, it's just dark. Okay. Dark is fine. That doesn't really change too much. <laughs> Except that... Uh, Iron Leaves is still terrified of you. Oh, it's Sucker Punch! Awesome! Oh, that's so cool. Love that. Love that so much. Uh, I'm gonna need Terra on Maridon. So I can't just burn it here on Bundle. Um, two turns of sun. If I could get a knockout soon, that'd be great. I don't know if that's going to be possible, though. But I mean, obviously I could Spiky Shield Protect here. Or maybe I could Spiky Shield... This is the only time I'm going to be able to have a chance to bring this in. I'm just going to do it. If I can get it in with follow me on the side, we could actually do something. Because they couldn't sucker punch with follow me. Now if they just cleave into it and it gets deleted, that's terrible. But it could be a sucker punch plus fake out play, hitting the bundle. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, Leaves. Um, uh, you, uh, um, <laughs> you weren't actually the play there. You were a sack. I'm sorry. You were great against everything not named King Gambit, but King Gambit is proving to be a little bit of a problem at the moment, so I'll have to get back to you. Another day. Alright, we get our Hadron engine up. I'm thinking Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam is pretty safe here. Along with a Follow Me. Um, in case King Gambit lives this, Follow Me will redirect the cleave. Incineroar will live this, so I can probably redirect Parting Shot or Knock Off or Flare Blitz, whatever it's trying to do. Should be pretty good. I like Dazzling Gleam on this. It's come in handy a lot. Just having a spread move is great. And it's already a good defensive Terra for Maridon. So I really like it. Okay, no protects coming out. I think they're like AV Gambit, maybe. Well, let's see. <laughs> well, they're not alive, Gambit. That's good. <laughs> Um, I think this is actually the last turn of Sun, though, so unless they Parting Shot, they're gonna get the Sun back. I would love it if they Parting Shot here. Yes! <laughs> That's actually... I, I know my Ogre Pond's attack is real low now. Ogre Pond is fine. I don't care. Um, I guess they have a Fake Out turn, but they lose Sun. Is great. 
great. Um, yeah, the fake out turn is annoying. I'll be real. Because now my Ogre Pond is at like minus a billion. I don't know if Bundle can get in safely. But Maridon needs to go. Yeah. Spiky shield. And bring in Santa Claus. Uh, the bundle, if you can live this, you are amazing. It would be really good if you could just live this. Whatever this is. Whatever's about to happen to you, if you could live it, that'd be great. Though I think Maridon could eat up one Precipice Blades anyway. We're not an electric type anymore. Uh, the fake out was into the Maridon, yeah. So I did have to leave. And it's just blades. Uh, 52 HP, I don't... I don't feel too confident about that, Liv. Okay, goodbye. That is okay. Maridon is back. And Maridon will Draco your Groudon. Which has not yet revealed Protect. And we have a lot of electric terrain turns, so even if you do protect, you're not going to get very far. I'm going to cudgel that, it'll knock it out eventually. And just Draco, eliminate Groudon. Goodbye, Groudon. Whoa! Assault Vest Groudon. Never mind. Never mind. I made a mistake. Oh, I got the... Oh, it's a crit. Okay. Ogre Pond, you just saved us. <laughs> so, well, the next Draco was going to KO. Yeah, and we're, we're too heavy for that. That's not going to KO Maridon. We were fine. It was fine. I overreacted. Assault Vest Groudon? I could have brought Incineroar the whole time? That's what King Gambit's for. Good game. Okay, now we've got a... Okay, this isn't a Regulation G team, but it's a super fun Sun team. And we don't have any weather control, so this is a real threat. Tropius and Jumpluff? Really? In DD Armourouge, Torkoal Charizard? They absolutely have enough to destroy us. This is definitely a losable match. I'm terrified and really excited to play this. Okay. Uh, I think an Incineroar lead is good. I kind of want to lead Maridon for like Snarl pressure. But I can't really give up the terrain. I need to get rid of their terrain. I don't think Golden Go is the lead. Uh, Ogre Pond isn't bad, but we can't get rid of the sun. But at least it can like redirect sleep powders. If we have that, we can't get sleep powder. I guess Dragon Terra Golden Go could be good here. Oh, it's Fairy. <laughs> hmm. Gilgamesh isn't bad here. I'll lead those two with Ogre Pond Maridon in the back. Because I have Terra Fire on this. It's also immune to um, to the s sleep powder, possibly from Jump Up. Resisting Psychic before it Terra's is good. It's going to be hard to prevent Trick Room because I mean, if they go in DD Armor Rouge, they got the Chicken Dance going in the back. If they got in DD Armor Rouge, either one of them could Trick Room. <laughs> going in DD Tropius. Okay. Show me you're not Psychic Seed. They are Psychic Seed. Um, I'm not... I'm not gonna lie. I am scared of Tropius. Oh, our Incineroar is slower than their DD too. Okay. Even Itemless Knockoff is stronger than Flare Blitz. I will double up with a Leaf Blade. I want to get rid of Ndidi. If I can get rid of Ndidi and just keep Trick Room from happening, I'll be quite happy. I don't know what Tropius is going to do, and it scares me. That should be Knockoff range. And it is. And they're going for Trick Room because they were slower. Cool. Cool. 
Whatever it is you were doing, you can't do it now. And a sunny day from Bananasaurus. Are you like chlorophyll? Were you were you expecting one of those to go down? Hmm. Cremanzo. Alright, that's Armor Rouge. I think I wanna knock off that. Is Incineroar safe? I don't know if they're like Meteor Beam Armor Rouge or something crazy like that. I want to go for knockoff, but I also want to bring in Maridon. Because if there's a, fi a fire move, might go here. Expanding force seems really unlikely this turn, honestly. And Bananasaurus might have like a flying move in this slot, which we would resist. I think I'm safe to come in. Like I, I wouldn't be shocked if they had something here, because they got some sauce. I'm sure of it. I just don't know what it is. Well, they're burning Terra. The knockoff isn't going to do it. And they are grass. Okay, so they're, they're probably not the weak armor set. They're probably the flash fire. And it was just armor cannon. Cool. We should take this okay. Yeah, that did a lot. Okay. Faster than Tropius. Oh, is it a Harvest Tropius? Yeah, it's not fast. They were weakness policy. Oh, boy. A Leap Seed Harvest Tropius. Okay, uh, I'll deal with you. I was going to say I'll deal with you later. No, I'm going to deal with you now. I'm going to deal with you right now. I'm going to throw a big move at you. And just U-turn that thing. U-turn should knock it out from that range, I think. And you're getting Electro Drifted, sir. We can't have this. Harvest Leaf Seed in the sun? Uh-uh. Not happening. Get out of here. Or just live, because Tropius, I guess? Oh my god. That's not a Sash. No, it is Harvest. Oh my god. Tropius. Uh, it's a neutral single target expanding force. We take that very nicely. Goodbye. Cool. Uh, presumably they leech seed the other slot now and get so much health back. <sighs> but now we can bring back in our grass. Oh, we got two grass types. Uh, Ogre Pond's not going to do much in the sun. So we'll send in Gilgamesh to get another really powerful attacker on the field to take down this Tropius, who's proving to be <laughs> a tank. Oh, they air slashed that slot. Was that a read? Did you read that swap? Yeah, get your harvest back. You're still in Electro Drift range, thank goodness. Probably just gonna protect or something, though. In that case, maybe I double whatever Curdle is. Oh, it's a. Ooh. No, I think. So I think. Fire Terra is fine here, yeah. Psyblade. And I'll Electro Drift the Turtle. I think that should take out the Turtle. And hopefully Psyblade is enough to take out Tropius. And I'm tearing just in case something lives. Because I don't want because then I'll be able to live an air slash. I'll be able to live like a heat wave. Not both, but I doubt both work. But I think I've got this one in the bag. I love it. I like Iron Leaves a lot. I'm so sad that it's not good. Nope, no spread moves here. Sorry, Tropius. Good try, though. I'm Specs. You don't know that, I guess. Because you lived. So you're like, oh, it must not be Specs. No, I'm Specs. You just lived in that anyway. Alright, bye, Torkoal. And Side Psy Blade's a cool move. I really dog on the animations in this game. But Psy Blade is really cool. Goodbye, Bananasaurus. And good game opponent. Yeah, preventing Trick Room that first turn was huge. After that, they just didn't have any momentum. Good game. Alright, we've got a Kyurem team. Okay, cool. Kyurem Ninetales with Gouging Fire, Iron Treads. 
Rillaboom, and Chen Pao. I, but, uh, so I got a prep for Howl plus Chen Pao and for Ninetales Kirim. Well, I'm glad I've got the uh, Fairy Terra Maridon, but uh, yeah, Bund mm, no, because they have Rillaboom, which could turn off my terrain. They have Ice Spinner that could turn off my terrain, but I'm thinking like an Icy Wind Dazzling Gleam should take out Chen Pao. I'll still be faster than Chen Pao with Santa Claus, even if Rillaboom comes in, which is great. I, I don't recommend going mod- if you build a team like this, I don't recommend switching to modest, even though you still get the speed booster. Because if you lose the booster, you're still faster if you're timid. So I think timid bundle is the play, even though you could squeeze out more damage with modest. Incineroar seems great. So much Intimidate, so much Ice, it's just great. And then is the last Ogre Pond, or is it- it's not this Grass type. It could- it could be Golden Go, it could be Ogre Pond. I'm really 50-50 on it. I'm gonna go Ogre Pond, because I expect the QRM to have a move that hits Golden Go anyway. It gets Fire moves, it gets Ground moves. It should be able to hit Golden Go, and it should be faster than Golden Go. It's cool to see Kirim teams running around. I really like Kirim. And we've seen a lot of different Kirim teams, too, with some different strats. This looks like a Howl plus Kirim. Oh, a nice card, too. Though you wouldn't Howl next to the Kirim. I, I doubt it's a physical attacker. Ah, Rillaboom on lead. Interesting. Well, give me some information about your Iron Treads first. I can learn a bit about your stats by what Cork Drive does. Even though it's going to get turned off. Defense was heightened. Oh! Okay, that's good to know. Cork Drive wears off both don't have booster energy. Alright, I gotta get out, but getting into Incineroar seems fine. And I just protect Santa Claus. Next turn I'll have a pretty safe Santa Claus, because I'll have a fake out turn. I'm just gonna play this one slow. Uh, if the Treads is like clear amulet and goes for high horsepower, Incineroar is gonna take a lot of damage. But otherwise, no big deal. I could also Ghost Terra Bundle there, but that doesn't feel great. I want to save the Terra from a Rhydon since they got ice in the bag. And I do think Dazzling Gleam could be pretty good into Kyurem and into Chen Pao. Oh, just to protect from Treads? Cool, that's so cool. Well, I love that. Woodhammer! Oh, they didn't even go for fake out. They knew I was getting out of there. Okay. Yeah, both of them got an attack drop. No a clear amulets to be seen. Rillaboom will swap. Probably. Right? Right? I guess I don't know that for sure. I feel like Rillaboom will swap. There's not really anything that wants to take a Freeze Dry and a Flare Blitz except Gouging Fire. But I don't think you brought Gouging Fire. Because if you have Kyurem in the back, presumably you do, you would have Ninetales. So I like doubling up into Rillaboom. Show me that you didn't bring Gouging Fire! Lazuli, that doesn't look like a Gouging Fire's nickname. Looks like a Ninetales nickname, okay. Okay, love it. Freeze Dry bounces off harmlessly, but that's okay, I've got another move. And Ice Spinner removes your own terrain. Cool, I guess, whatever. Breaks my sash, gets rid of the grass. Breaks my sash permanently because you got rid of the grass, that's pretty funny. Uh, you have Rillaboom that might come right back in. Uh, I guess the Ice Spinner was to cover for a Maridon swap. Yeah, I think they were predicting Maridon swap there. That would have made sense. 
turn off the uh, grassy terrain, get the grass weak Pokemon out of there. And it is Kyurem last. Good to know. I, both of my Pokemon can take an ice move. Incineroar can even take like an earth power. It's assault vested, right? Yeah, and these stats. Psh, I can take an earth power. Do it. I don't care. I'll hit you with a knockoff, I guess, because you've got the defense boost from snow, so you're not going to take much damage, honestly. Is there any use for Icy Wind? I guess Ogre Pond would then be faster. Because it's not necessarily faster. Yet. Yeah, I'll just throw an Icy Wind for now. I don't expect Incineroar to catch Kyurem or Treads, but the Treads is a defense boosting set, so I don't even know what that thing's EVs are. Uh, they're going Terra Ice. Ah, Flare Blitz would have been better than Knockoff now. Well, Flare Blitz would always have been better than Knockoff damage wise, but. Oh, just a Blizzard? No, nothing's gonna die to that. Wait, you outsped. I'm gonna get rid of your Scarf now. Oh, I wish I didn't knock off your Scarf, actually. Though you're gonna be much slower now. Red card. Do I get to choose who that sends in, or do they? Okay, it's just, it's just random. That's cool. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that, uh... <laughs> oh, that's great! <laughs> we take that easy. Yeah, give me that scarf, Kyurem. What do you think you're doing running around with choice scarf? That's so bad for me now, though, because you can switch up to freeze dry, or earth power, or whatever you want, really. Alright, I'm gonna throw a flare blitz at Kyurem. I don't really... I don't really care much for the Fairy Terra anymore. Do I? Is it better to just Terra this? I think so. Yeah. I think this is fine. I'll Terra Water my Ogre Pond. I'm faster than the Treads now because of the Icy Wind. I don't think Incineroar is faster than Kira. But, I do think they want to freeze-dry the Ogre Pond. That four times is just too juicy, and they probably don't want to risk an Earth Power if it can be redirected. So I expect a KO on Treads, goodbye, and then a freeze-dry into Ogre Pond, which we should take. We're plus one, they don't have an item. Yep, it's freeze-dry. Cool. Ah, that wasn't a crit? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, now you're gonna live this Flare Blitz, right? <laughs> well, at least you Terra Ice. This should do super effective damage, and it's not enough. <laughs> ah, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. That's so funny. That's amazing. Wow. This Kyurem is insane. Oh boy. I should have just doubled the Kyurem. Treads was never really a threat. Oh my gosh. No way am I going to hard swap in Maridon. I'll just go for a Flare Blitz. And I'll go for a Protect. And I kind of hope Incineroar goes down, but I guess if Incineroar doesn't go down, I guess they could fake out Incineroar and attack Bundle. And then they'd be in position to get two KOs. But then Fairy, Terra, Maridon should be able to take both of these on. Maybe. And communication interrupted. Uh, I guess that's a win. Good game, opponent. Yeah, y you were in the losing position anyway. Good game. You did exactly what I wanted you to do. Okay. Great game. That Kyurem was terrifying. Oh my goodness. I don't really get the treads though. We are back with the rental code. Maridon taking the 5-0. Four of them against actual Regulation G teams as well. And Atropius, that was stupid tanky. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the team. I hope I showed you what Maridon can do. 
I, I'm sure the skill ceiling for Maridon is way above where I can play. This is one of the best mons in the game, hands down. Uh, there's your team ID in the corner. Give it a try. I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.